ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba. Today's video is a follow-up to the batch prepping session I did where I cooked 15 pounds of potatoes so that I could make delicious potato meals throughout my week. And this is when I was doing a mini potato reset. It was a seven day reset. So if you haven't seen that video already and you wanna check out how I made, how I prepared 15 pounds of potatoes, what I did with them, I did a few different ways of preparation so that I could do a few specific things which I share in this video. So check that out here. You know that little annoying thing that comes out and also I'm going to link it down below in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions I'll see you in the comments. It's a little bit crushed.
little bit crispy. <laughs> This is what I have left for my batch cooking. I want to make something for everybody today. So I'm gonna take my potatoes, these potatoes from last night, and these potatoes that my dad made a couple days ago. And we're gonna make a big old giant couple trays of smash hash with some spinach. We're gonna use the rest of this spinach. You want some spinach too? one's for June bug. You don't want it? <laughs> Pity. You like it spinach? Yeah. Probably the same old spices. Garlic powder, onion powder, nutritional yeast, and this was onion powder, but it's smoked paprika. Just watching that is making me hungry and sadly I don't have any pre-cooked potatoes in my fridge right now which is setting myself up for temptation really because unfortunately I live with other adults who don't eat exactly like me thankfully they're vegan my dad's not totally vegan but I know it's you're either vegan or you're not but my dad's not totally plant-based we'll, we'll just say that um, but I'm not tempted at all by any of that stuff. But most of the stuff in this house, 99.9% .9 of it is uh, vegan. And uh, my family likes to, you know, process vegan food. So it's always around me. It's always a temptation. And um, that's why I have to stay two hips, two hips, what? Two steps ahead of myself and always have something prepared. So it's nice to always have at least some fruit around or some pre-cooked potatoes because if I'm hungry, I'm gonna reach for the corn chips, the tortilla chips, or the pistachios or whatever is in there, and granola bars, and whatever's in the cover. Um, Cause it's just easy and quick. But uh, if I have a potato in the fridge, I don't have an excuse. I can just grab a cold potato and eat it. And honestly, if I'm not hungry enough to eat a cold potato, what am I doing? So, um, what? You know, got, uh, point well. so mamas interrupt us. Um, yeah, that's why I really love having these batch, batch cooking sessions. And I just thought it'd be really good to show you, you know, some ideas, some quick and easy ideas. But um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. But <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any um, recipe requests, I have a ton of potato recipe ideas. I feel like it's just endless, but I'm not the most um, organized person. I don't know if organization is my problem. I'm a, I'm a procrastinator. 
and I get easily distracted and uh, I'm a very sensitive person too so I can just kind of go down rabbit holes emotional rabbit holes or something and I just kind of get lost and lose focus on like you know the important things like this YouTube channel and like the message that I want to get out there so um, I've been seriously considering hiring somebody not that I'm making a ton of money or anything but like I just feel like I could get more done if I had somebody help me organize so I don't know let's just put that out there universe maybe I need a personal assistant slash VA slash cheerleader or something I don't know anyway uh, I'll see you in the next video which I'm hoping is gonna be a recipe video it's one that I've already I've started working on I just have to finish it so I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And also hit the little bell thing for notifications. I hate saying this stuff. I hate it. But sometimes it's good to remind people. Uh, because if I do a live video, because I want to do some more live videos. But honestly, I don't like scheduling them ahead of time. Because I don't know when I'm going to have the opportune time to do a live video. Because this house is chaotic. We've got lots of dogs. We've got my parents who are pretty much retired, watching TV all day. So I don't know when they're gonna be gone. You know, they take, they do these impromptu, like we're gonna go out and go shopping or we're gonna go walk our dogs. And that's when I can do a live video. So be sure to hit that bell button because if I go live, you'll get notified. Otherwise you'll be disappointed and say, ah, I missed it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.